ingenious supplies. Ugh, all these uninvited guests are simply trashing my big day. You there, strategized, tend to me. I require your spectral insight to defeat these rubes and their angels. Ugh, you'll never get me to betray my friends, you vile abomination. There must be a way I can deal with them all at once. Surely with my might we can overcome my foes. Now obey. Never. I, I'll never say. No. I mean, there's there's no possible... Wait, stop looking at me like... like that. Sometimes I wonder why they forget that vampires can hypnotize. Now, spirit, tell me how to win. My lady, there is a path to victory for you here, but we'll need to be very careful as we progress. The entire plan can unravel if we let you get hit too many times. Mm, as much as I enjoy bloodshed and mayhem, Thrall, I shall be cautious. Now, continue. The power you've gained along with your own ferocious nature should allow you to reanimate the dead with rage, filling their newly beating hearts. I am aware of my magnificent powers of carnage. Carnage? Remember that pirate band who attacked the castle last week? The troublesome oafs didn't even look like they were from around here. Yes, precisely, my lady. They had with them an example of something they refer to as a port razor. Hmm, the big one that kept attacking all the smaller hamlets between here and the bay. Yes, he was a fine specimen. Just the one, mistress. If you were to attack your opponent and drag that pirate along with you, he could inspire you and the rest of the troops to attack again, again, and again. I see. But then he also never wanted to attack the same place twice. Something about doubloons and not double balloons. With the altar you've just been wed at, we can return that pawn to the graveyard where you can call him forth once more. Hmm, the fog of death would erase his memory. Creatures don't retain their memory when brought back like that, meaning that we could attack the same spot over and over. Precisely, my lady. And while gaining whatever boon the altar would provide for the sacrifice... Perhaps lobbing his now useless corpse at my enemy's creatures to clear the way with the goblin bombardment? Yes, your grace. There are several choices, and even some interesting enchantments that could help with this cycle. Like a grave pact? This combo uses Olivia Crimson Bride's reanimation ability. When she attacks, her ability will trigger targeting Port Razor in the graveyard. Port Razor enters the battlefield and attacks an opponent. When it deals combat damage, its extra combat ability will trigger, untapping all your creatures and giving you another combat phase. After damage, you have an opportunity to sacrifice Port Razor in the end of combat step, putting it back into your graveyard where it's ready to be reanimated again when Olivia attacks in your next combat. Every time Port Razor changes zones, the game considers it a new object, allowing you to ignore its second ability that limits who you can attack. I can see how this could lead to victory, but how could my foes stop us? Your power is absolute, my queen. None would stand before you. Ugh, Rawls. I mean, how would my foes attempt to stop me? There are vulnerabilities in this plan. We would require that the Port Razor actually damage your foes. Being blocked by their own creatures would short-circuit the process. Similarly, if they're willing to sacrifice a Spore Frog or cloak themselves in Moon Mist, the poor pirate wouldn't be able to rally for another attack. Mm, an issue to be sure. Best to look for an opponent who cannot stop him while you seek out battle elsewhere. Since you can fly like the Magnificence you are, you have more options than the Orc does. Another potential problem that you're doubtless aware of, if you were to be removed from the battlefield, all your thralls would pass beyond the grave into exile, never to be seen again. My magic does sustain them in their undeath. That would be unfortunate. Upon seeing you arrive on the field, your craven foes might surgically extract our port razor. Of course, the ravages of a scavenging ooze would treat us just as poorly. And as you well know, that at any point, any amount of deadly magic might befall either you or the pirate we've brought to bear. 
I can see what you mean. Worst of all, my glorious ruler, one of my former ghoul caller acquaintances was working on a new type of zombie amalgam. She called it her overcharged amalgam. And it would disrupt triggers like your ability to reanimate. Those human amateurs are resourceful. It surprises me how much they can do with all those corpses and lightning. Of course, there are also ways, loath as I am to admit it, exalted one, that would, well, that would... Would what, Geist, shut me down? I, I'm sorry, mistress, forgive me. But yes, there are ways. A rest in peace would keep our graves empty, and the pork razor beyond the call of your magic. Such an affront. And if your opponents shielded themselves with a mana tax like propaganda or sphere of safety, you would likely run dry before finishing them. Lucky for me, I can bring my plus one for free since he rises already attacking. Some priests specialize in preventing undead trickery like this, and a containment priest would stop you cold, you monster. Hmm. The only good clerics are the blood magic ones. Perhaps the best, uh, uh, worst circumstance would be the one where you're functionally unable to work the magic. Tainted Aether would drain you of creatures and lands. And that big pig Yasharn would keep your vile plan from continuing, making sure you cannot sacrifice any mere mortals to your reign of blood and terror, you evil... <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'm sorry you couldn't stay under my heel like a good little ghosty, but I'm glad that that wild-eyed assassin dropped one of her knives here. Seems strangely good at dealing with your kind. A fine plan, even if it did come from one of the spike feeders. Now come along, pirate. <laughs> we have work to do. I want to express my sincere thanks to everybody who worked on this video, especially our guest narrator, Olivia Gobert Hicks. You can check her out on Twitter at Gobert Hicks or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash affinity artifacts. If you have a combo that you want to see explained, make sure you let us know in the comments below. And we'll catch you next time. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window. Or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.